Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of I Teach My Wife. This is my wife, Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did get a comment saying I was a really hot girl. So, <laughs> so dang, Caleb, you are a really sexy girl. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Thank you. So, you teach me what you know. <laughs> oh, I hate oh. when you do this. <laughs> About Git and GitHub. And we just had a little intro session so you should have a okay well like github is online and it's kind of like google drive yeah whereas git is on your computer there we go you got it down perfectly so we're not (laughs) going to get in the advanced stuff we're not going to get into branching we're not even going to get probably into pull requests or anything so all we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our local repository and putting it on github and then maybe we'll get into cloning talking about uh, whatever else we get into so that's the goal for this video and yeah no sense of wasting time what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up on github this is my profile we decided hey we're not gonna create Aaron profile because because he's cuter than me oh, <laughs> because I, we just don't want to go through that process and I don't think she'll be using it in her free time anyways so <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're going to first click the plus at the top corner and say create New repository. I teach my life. And now I debated whether to make this public or private. And I think I was gonna do private, but I think let's do public. That'll that'll force us to make sure our code has better uh <laughs> better what's the word? Best code. practices. Better, better code. <laughs> So we are not going to select initialize this repository with a readme because we already have an existing repository. If you could show them that. This is, well, it's very small, but we have a Node.js project and we already have git on here. So you can say git status and it says on branch master, nothing to commit. So we already have an initialized repository. If you need help with that, check out the previous I teach my wife where we talked about git. So we don't want to check this because it says to uh, skip this if you're importing an existing repository. All right, create repository. And there we go. Now this is what we want where it tells you exactly what to do here. So we've already did the commit. Now what we need to do is this remote add origin. So you can literally copy that line. And then we just need to take this and paste that into the terminal. There we go. So now you can say git remote. And this will show you that one of them on here is origin. So that that is our remote. I just realized it says Aaron Kale Curry. <laughs> oh, that's because uh, Aaron's the folder we're in. Oh, okay. All right. Go back to GitHub, copy the next line, which is going to take all of our code and push it to the origin, to the remote, which we called origin. So just to make sure you got all the vocab down here, git push, that's the verb. We're pushing your code. Origin is the name of the destination. So we basically named our GitHub location origin. Okay. And then we're pushing the master branch, which we haven't gotten into branching, so we'll get into that later. So you can see the only thing we did here was the last two steps. Me and Aaron, we skipped the first four steps, and that's actually, I didn't even notice this, but that's exactly what it's saying to do here. If you have an existing repository, you only have to worry about those last two steps. Look good? Mm-hmm. So now, do a refresh. Of this page? Yes. And voila! Magical, huh? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> so this is our code. These are, this co- came from our computer and we, we put it up in GitHub. Okay. Follow? So we put it in the bucket and then we gave it to the world. So we're sharing our bucket with everyone on the internet right now. Wow. So people are going to really criticize your code, you know? Thanks, guys. <laughs> so you can go into index.js, and you can actually see all the code on here. Oh, this? Yep. Check it out. Can you zoom in a little bit? Yeah. That's the code you wrote. Oh, I feel a little special. <laughs> all right, so now I want to show you that this is going to update whenever we push new code to it. So let's go back to our code. Bring down the terminal a little bit and clear it out so it's clear. Bring down the terminal, like here? Mm, That's fine, yeah. All right, and scroll up on your code. 
and change it to I like people. Make sure you save. And then we're going to, in, in the terminal, say get status. That's how you can get a look at, at your project. And we have modified, so we can say get add index.js. Index. Yes, or you can say get add dot. It's up to you. Dot will do everything, and there's only one thing, so it would have done the same thing. Now you can say git commit. Oh. Oh, too fast. Uh, sorry, git uh, commit. Right now? Oh, um, so you didn't put a message with that, so. What? Well, sorry. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> can you try uh, just typing Q? Oh, shoot. I totally screwed it up, didn't I? It, it opened some kind of text editor. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I just thought that was it. I thought you were just telling me that. Uh, I think we can say control C to get out of that. Oh, it's Vim. I think, yeah. So, to exit Vim, colon Q. Oh, it's been a while since I've used Vim, thankfully. Um, let's try it again. Okay. You just press the up arrow. Up. And then a space and a hyphen M. Space hyphen M. Yeah. And then you can put a space and in quotes put your message. So what you did it last time, you were able to make a, a more custom, in detailed message. <laughs> but this is just a brief message, and you can put your message in there and press enter. What message? The change. You describe your changes. So maybe you became more positive. You know what I mean? Became more positive. Or more social. Enter. One file change, one insertion, one deletion. So we deleted the old line and we added the new line, which says, I like people. Cool? Mm hmm. All right, so now go back to GitHub and do a refresh and see if it changed. It's not going to change. Well, oh, way no. to tell me. It didn't change. <laughs> Why didn't it change? Because I didn't push it. Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so you updated your repository, the bucket. But now you need to take that bucket and you need to share it with the world. Okay. Do you remember how, do you know how to do that? Git or, push. Yep. But yes, say git push origin master. Git push or, oh, I hate this word, origin master. Beautiful. Wow, awesome. Now check your remote. I like people. There you go. Oh, so yeah. that, that is how we can upload the source code to the repository and this repository becomes the source of truth if it's not in the repository it's not the source of truth does that make sense so when you update this you're like updating the the core of your project everyone else is going to get those changes anything you do locally that's just temporary until you push it to this repository so that's the benefit of doing github it acts as the source of truth for your project and when you're working in teams, other people can get your code. So you follow? Mm-hmm. Cool. What do you want to do now? Let's pretend, <laughs> just for a moment, that we're someone else now. Okay? We're not we're not Caleb and Aaron. We're two two weirdos, and we want <laughs> to take this code and make it our own. So we want to clone this repository. So how are we gonna do that? So this is essentially, pretend we're on a different computer and we want to get this code and start editing it. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay. So let's go over to uh, the text editor probably. Yeah, and go to file. Up, well, yeah, up here. Oh, <laughs> I gotta see that. File, open. And this is going to show us our folder structure. We're in this Aaron folder, you see? Mm-hmm. Oh, it bothers me so much it's not capital. It's okay. <laughs> so click that. Click what? Click Aaron. And go up one to Caleb Curry. Up. Down. <laughs> up the... the, the, the. Alright, whatever. Now we're going to make a new folder. Right here. And let's say... This is Aaron clone or something. Or okay, you can capitalize make, how about, it. <laughs> no, let's... You can, yeah, it's the same thing. So Let's go with Claire. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's Re not. <laughs> it's up to you. Pick a name. I don't care. I like Claire. Um, Ari. I don't... Wait. 
Yeah, that's like right. That. All right, go in there and open. So now we have nothing. Can I, can I accept these? Yeah, exile. I'm sorry, were you doing something? We have nothing. Uh huh. Open the terminal in here. <laughs> that did nothing. Um. <laughs> that was a good start. I have no um, go idea. To the, go to the top, and then go to help. Yeah, and then type, in, type help. in terminal, and then hover over it. So you got to go to view and then terminal. There you go. Cool. I don't like this. X out of it. Up here at the welcome, there's a little X. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're making it sound way harder than that. I'm just, I'm yawning. My head is like exploding. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. Uh. We're almost done. Then you'll be free, okay? All right. Go back to GitHub, and we're gonna cl we're gonna click a button that's gonna tell us how to clone this. So scroll up. Go back to I teach my wife. So click the the name there. This. Yep. Click that. And then there's this green clone or download. Um, yeah. So copy that. So all you have to say now is git clone, and then paste that URL. Enter. And it shows up, it actually created its own folder. So we actually could have done that, like a folder up, if we just didn't want the Claire folder, but this is fine. So you can open the I teach my wife, and you can see all of that code. So you can open index.js, and there's our project. So in theory, Claire could have just cloned a repository and had all of her code here. So for the viewers watching, if you want to get this code or to follow along, all you gotta do is go to github.com forward slash Caleb Curry forward slash I teach my wife or something like that. And then copy that URL and go download Git and say Git clone and paste that web address. Yeah, see you with the face. Maybe a question. What's your question? Does this update when I update it on my end? Like, like. <laughs> so you change it. I change it. Folder. Does it change everybody else's? Not automatically, but let's say you make a change and you push it to the repository. They can then pull those changes. If they want, but they don't have to. Correct. Yes. Okay. So just to show this real quick, it should only take a moment. If we just back up and we open the Aaron folder, and let's say you change this text and just say, I really like people. Save, and we're gonna commit this to the repository. So it'll say git add dot, yep. And then git commit hyphen m and then quotes and just say you, whatever, whatever you change, you can just describe it. Good. Mm -hmm. And then say git push origin master. Git push, uh, git. oops, that's confusing. Yep. Now go check the repository, make sure it's changed. Go into index.js. And it says, I really like people. So the changes are there. Mm -hmm. Now let's go into that Claire version, see what her change, what her code looks like. How do I... File open. Um, you can go up a folder, down a folder, however you think about it. Yep, open that, and then open. So you can see hers does not have really, so it didn't update automatically. So if you wanted, if, if she wanted to get the latest changes, she mm -hmm. would open the terminal. So you can right click index.js, open terminal. This? Um, on this? the side there, yeah, where you can go from view. And she would say git pull origin master. And that's the basics, and you oh. see it automatically updated. <laughs> okay, I like how you use like actual words so that you can like visualize almost like push and pull. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> That's cool. Good job, people that made this. <laughs> it's focusing on me again. Why is it? Uh, likes you better, I guess. Yeah. So if she had done some of her own changes, we might get some issues with trying to automatically update. So that would be like a, a merge conflict. Um, and we're not going to get into that. So. <sighs> Thank 
Jones. Those are the <laughs> more advanced stuff. We don't have to worry about that because we're not working in a team right now. We're just us. Well, <laughs> we're pair programming, girl. Girl. So that's GitHub. That's enough to make my brain hurt even. I imagine you're done. Yep. So what we'll do next is, I don't know, we'll probably start working on our application. And now we can, <laughs> we can keep track of all of our changes in GitHub so people can go find them. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I said that. <laughs>